New life is coming to an empty and dilapidated building central and west Baltimore. Earlier today, city officials held a groundbreaking ceremony for Unity Hall. WMR2 News' Dave Detling has more on this multi-million dollar project meant to bridge racial and economic gaps in the area along Utah Place. Utah Place Park divides two separate neighborhoods, Madison Park and Bolton Hill. The area will soon be getting an anchor meant to bridge the two. The old labor hall of the 1960s at 1505 Utah Place will be that link. With a new look and name, Unity Hall is expected to help heal generations of racial inequality. Our offices will actually be on the second floor, those first, uh, the second set of three windows. Atira Griffin's nonprofit, Building Our Nation's Daughters, will be the building's first tenant. The different organizations that will be housed here, including Bond, will make sure that whatever resources we have access to, whatever networks we have access to, events, professional development opportunities, job opportunities, go directly to our residents. And so we don't have this dividing wall anymore. Unity Hall is a $5 million project. The multi-purpose space will be devoted to community arts, education, and job training. On Tuesday, city leaders and community advocates held a groundbreaking ceremony. The Unity Hall is intended to break down barriers that have traditionally divided our community. Memorial Apartment Corporation currently owns the building. With the support of Somerset Development Corporation, it hopes to give neighbors better access to resources. There's also the hope that Unity Hall will deter crime. One of the more high-profile cases happened directly across the street last year. It was an officer-involved shooting where seven people were shot. We know this will make a difference. You can see projects like this around the city. As for Unity's soon-to-be tenants, they're excited to get to work as change agents while preparing for the next step. We have a year-long lease and we'll probably renew it for a couple years. To be honest, we do have a goal of having our own building one day that does the same thing specifically for black single moms in Baltimore City. And as for a timeline, the goal is to have this fence down and the building open by spring of next year. We've got more information about the building on our website. Reporting from Utah Place, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.